For years now, texting while driving has been a major safety concern in the distracted driving issue. So when voice recognition technology applications became popular or became a standard feature on smartphones, many saw voice texting as a safer alternative to manual texting. After all, voice texting would allow the user to simply speak into their phone. They don't have to type every letter of the text. So theoretically, voice texting would allow the driver to concentrate more on driving, keeping their eyes on the road. Researchers with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute have completed a first-of-its-kind study comparing manual texting with voice texting in an actual driving environment. We had our participants uh, drive a close course at our Riverside facility four different times. Once while not texting, once while texting manually, and then two more times using two different voice-to-text applications. In our research, sponsored by the Southwest Region University Transportation Center, we measured how long it took drivers to complete each task and the amount of time that drivers spent looking at the roadway ahead. We also measured how long it took drivers to respond to a light that came on at random intervals to gauge awareness of their surroundings. Surprisingly, researchers found that the process of voice texting and manual texting took about the same length of time. Driver performance was also about the same for each method. Regardless of which texting method was being performed, the amount of time drivers were watching the roadway was significantly less when they were texting compared to when they were not texting. When they were texting, driver response times were significantly less. In both methods, drivers took twice as long to react. If a driver who is texting is watching the road less often and their reaction times are slower, then that driver is less able to respond to a sudden roadway danger like a swerving vehicle or a pedestrian in the street. During the project, participants said they felt they were safer drivers when they were voice texting compared to manual texting, even though driver performance suffered equally with both methods. With the Texas Transportation Institute, I'm Rick Davenport.